Gossips, trending, viral content, celebrity lifestyle. Welcome to. Hello guys and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. This is Loudly Gislova YouTube. Thank you for tuning in and watching. And to my Tony subscribers, you guys are the real MVPs. Thank you for all your support. More money into your account. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, this mobile case is getting scary day by day. As each day passes by, another story, new stories keeps on popping up, unfolding and... The worst part of it all is that this particular one, eh, this interview that Mobad's father granted with the punch. Guys, what this man said here, we want to make you doubt Mobad's wife innocence in all this. Guys, watch to the end of this video to hear the shocking revelation Mobad's father revealed about Mobad's wife and his second wife that is mobile stepmom please remember to please remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to always get notified anytime i drop new video or videos thanks in anticipation according to the punch newspaper joseph aloba the father of ileri olua aloba also known as mobad has disclosed how the late singer met his wife wumi at naira mali's Malian music label. Hmm. While describing Mobad as a simple and modest individual, he added that the duo had known each other at a very tender age at Ok Iletu Ikurudu, Lagos, before they were able to reconnect at Naira Mali's label. However, before they reconnected, there was no string attached between them. Clarifying this through the song Koma Jason, which Mobad sang in 2020, Aloba spoke of a lyric, Naira Lobe Omo Fumi, I am not a womanizer, in the song referencing how Mobad reconnected with Wumi at Malian Record. Guys, at this point, I don't even know what to believe again. Yes, both of them had a thing going on between them from their tender age, which Moba's father was not aware of. Who goes to his father at the age of 14 and starts disclosing to his father that he already got a girlfriend. Now, with this interview, before I go over to the next one he said about the shocking thing Moba's stepmother did. So many people have been speculating, they have been reacting to this interview. Some people said they should hold the girl responsible, they should interrogate her, they should do that. Moba surrounded himself with enemies, friends, enemies as per se. And something came to my mind. I was like... Could it be that it was this Wumi that convinced Mobad to sign agreement with the Malian music record to be a part of them? Because according to Mobad, Mobad said it took him days to, I mean, sorry, two weeks, yeah, two weeks to think about this contract and even this lover and Kutu Juice also testified to this. Secondly, some people are asking, what was Wumi doing with Naramali? What was she doing in the Malian music record? What role did she play in the Malian music record? The third disturbing question, everybody, almost everybody under the comment section of this interview was eager to know is that was Wumi also taking the DRUG substance while she was in the Malian music record? You know, speculations have it that anybody that is seen under the Malian music record is an addict. And since Mobad knew that the Malian music record was no longer safe for him and he left, why did he go along with Malian property? Knowing fully well that his life was no longer safe, he would have do away with anything concerning Malian record anything property anything and be neutral from a new circle that does not have anything to do with malians was more bad prepared to having a child with wumi did wumi trap him with that child these are the questions 
tons and tons of questions people have been asking under the comment section of this interview. Guys, share your thoughts in the comment section. Yes, we believe that love can be found anywhere. Everybody can fall in love with anybody, despite where the person comes from, despite where you see the person, where you met the person, what the person does. Love knows no boundaries. It got no bounds. For me, I will not judge him and his choice, but sometimes playing safe to the core is better better and better than any other thing if one wants to stay and remain alive. That being said, Moba's father also went further to reveal that the stepmother told him one day, choose me or your son. He said he chose his son, Mobad, and she packed her loads and left. I and the lady were together for more than seven years. I married her around 2005. That stepmother did not want me to send Mobad to school, and I chose my son, and she decided to leave. Aloba said while speaking exclusively with Saturday Punch. Aloba said this while clarifying Moba's lyric in the song Sorry. Aloba, while shedding more light on the lyrics, disclosed that his relationship with her was complicated. He stated that his, fa his decision in choosing Mobad over her led to her packing out from the family. Honestly, eh, if you are not a product of a polygamy family, you don't know what God has done for you. You don't know. <laughs> Now, from what this man said there, eh, it all indicates that Mobad's mother was the first. The present wife he is living with is not even the second. Probably that one may be the third or fourth. Who knows? It is well. I said it is well. I'm not here to judge anybody. All I can say is, as a woman, if your marriage did not work, you look left, front, back, center, behind, forward, anywhere you want to look, up and down. Please, carry your children along. If they are one, if they are two, anyhow, just manage. If the man refused to allow you carry the children along, just be close. Create a medium that you, that you will use in reaching out to them, a channel to get to them on a daily basis, to monitor things, happening around them. No one understands your child better than you do. Nobody can ever take care of your child than you do as a mother. A mother's love is irreplaceable in the life of her children. A mother, oh God, see, you see that word mother? Abi, M-O-T-H-E-R, that six letter words is too deep. It's too, see, that word is supposed to be the longest word in this world, to be honest, because Waiting that word, that word carry. The responsibility that word alone carry. That simple six letter words carry, eh? Ah, in which make any, anybody, everybody begin commot cap for any mother out there. It's not easy. Only you go born. Only you go defend. Only you go protect. Only you go provide. Only you go, ah, uh, ah. Uh, hey, I beg with all the sufferness and all the whole thing, don't allow somebody to come and reap where he or she did not sow or come by your picking for you had it been these two people we are together mother's mother and father we are together do you think that what happened to this guy would have happened if it's not god's willing it wouldn't have from all the speculations and how everything went guys there are 50 let me not say 100 there are 50 or 60 percent chances that mobad died in that grave day honestly so you see the mother would have played a very major role to making sure that she herself confirmed that that guy really buy before any other things follows it's so sad that he really went through a lot surrounded by free enemies a lot really went in that guy's life ha or more it's not it, see eh? anyone that is happy every day you are happy every day you are happy you are not scared one minute you are not scared the other seconds of someone trying to buy you your life um, to be in danger you know you walk freely ah you don't know what God has done for you honestly nothing past freedom happiness even though money is imperative 
but without happiness, without peace. How you want to see you to chop that money? It's not possible now. It is real low. With that being said, guys, that brings me to the end of this video. And in case you're watching for the first time, this is Loudly Just Lover YouTube. Thank you for watching and tuning in. Please do me that favor by giving this video a massive thumbs up. And remember to please hit on your red subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on your notification bell to always get notified. And it's my job new video or videos on this channel where the arts analyze. We give trending just celebrity news, true crime and true crime stories. And to my tiny subscribers, Thank you for always watching, liking, commenting, and sharing. Bye-bye for now, as I'm signing out for my next one. Peace out. I love you all. Okay, Messi Anungano. Bye. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated.